In this video, I'm going to show you how to move pages around in InDesign. There are basically two methods, and I'll show you both of them. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to move pages that are not linked together with pages of text. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I'm going to click on any text page here, go to View, Extras, Show Text Threads, and immediately you can see the little blue lines that they call threads. And here I have inserted a whole bunch of pages of pictures, but the text goes from here, page 30, all the way down to here, and then continues on. So I'm going to move pages that are not involved with text threads. Everything happens in the Pages panel. So I think I'll move the first three pages of pictures. So that is 31. I'm holding down Shift and selecting 32 and 33. Go to the Flyout panel here and move pages. This dialog box shows you the pages that you want to move, the place you want to put them. These are your options. And I think I'll put them after page 26 in the current document. Click OK. Let's see if they moved. Yes, they did. This is page 26. Here are the three picture pages. Let's check the text threads. And it worked perfectly, just as we hoped. So I'm going to undo that so I can show you the next method. I'm holding down Command Z or Control Z on a PC. Let's select the same three pages, 31, 32, 33, and simply in the Pages panel, grab them and move them up. See how there's a little bit of highlighting in between the pages when you do that. I'm going to release the mouse, and they have moved up once again. It worked great. Now, I'm going to undo this again, just so that I can show you something that might go wrong. Over here in the flyout menu, I'm going to deselect these two options about shuffling. And I'll show you what happens. Let's do the very same thing. Select the three pages, move them up, and look what happened. The first time this happened to me, I freaked out. So don't freak out. Just take a deep breath. Undo what you just did. Go back and make sure that these shuffling options are both selected. Shuffling in InDesign simply means keeping pages in pairs. Even if you move them around, they'll still be in pairs. That's what we want in books. Now, if you were doing a brochure and you had uh, a whole series of pages that you were going to fold, then you wouldn't want to use shuffling. But in books, we use shuffling all the time. Keep it turned on. Now, there are other options for moving pages. If you are going to move pages with text and they're connected by text threads to other pages, things can get complicated and tangled up very quickly. So I'm not even going to try to do a video about that. But if you have a copy of Book Design Made Simple, just look in chapter 49. We explain several ways to get untangled, to move text around, to move pages around, and that is your best solution for that. Now I'm doing another quick demo on adding and removing pages. So if that's your situation, feel free to look at that. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you.